church, how are you doing this morning? You ready to worship the Lord? Some of you are. We're going to worship him anyway. God, we love you. We just thank you so much that nothing is impossible for you, for your presence. So whatever we're dealing with today, we just bring it to you. We submit it at the foot of the cross. And we just thank you that you are the impossible doer. And we just thank you for your presence. We welcome you in this place this morning. And we just give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Shout your praise forever. 
hands deep your grace is more I don't know what you're facing today but whatever it is it's not bigger than him no matter what challenge no matter what you feel overwhelmed by in your circumstances greater is he that lives in you than he that is in the world anywhere around you truly our only single need is for him and for more of him that our eyes would be open to see him so I'm going to ask you to just close your eyes right now and just open your hands and lift them out in front of you in a receptive posture and Father you know what every individual in this house is facing. You know what's overwhelming them. You know the circumstances. You know the situation. You know the relational dynamics. You know the financial burden. Whatever it is, I declare right now, Father, that the name of Jesus Christ is above every situation. And every name that is named. So we declare that every circumstance, every natural order must bow its knee to the name of Jesus. We declare sickness and disease must bow its knee. We declare poverty and debt must, must bow its knee. I declare broken relationships must bow its knee. And I declare Jesus Christ is Lord over every situation. And Father, right now I pray that you would open the eyes of their understanding, that their eyes would be flooded with light and you would give to them vision beyond the natural, vision that sees beyond the moment, vision that sees you bigger than the challenge vision that sees not just a solution but sees you as the solution and we welcome you Holy Spirit we welcome you to send your grace your strength in the midst of our weakness Until the cup runs over, I speak to receive.
begin to receive. Just begin to worship. Just lift your heart. Just lift your voice in thanksgiving. Just let a new song come out of your innermost being. Lord, we worship you. up your praise. We lift up Jeremy and Stephanie Smith right now. Is there a Harris Hospital downtown? Lord, we just pray for your grace to surround them, the comfort of the Holy Ghost to surround them, to minister strength, minister healing to Stephanie in Jesus' name. And Father, we lift up our friend Patty Bateman, who's running the New York Marathon as this moment. We declare you're her strength. Lord, you are the one who fulfills our dreams and our visions and make our joy complete. We pray that your joy would be complete in her as she runs for your glory in the New York Marathon today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your presence. Hallelujah. Well, he's certainly not complete yet with what he's doing in you and me. Hallelujah, but it's going on. Turn to your neighbor, give him a high five and say, he's working. He's working in me. He's working in you. Hallelujah. Then you can be seated. Amen. How are y'all doing this morning? Yeah, you're doing well? Well, I have a couple announcements for you. Um, who knows what's coming up on November? I almost said August. Oh, what is it? What is it? You are so right. It is the Abbey Thanksgiving dinner and the award show, The Abbeys. It's our second annual. Well, no, how many times have we been doing the four? It is the, the annual, I'm just going to say, award show that is next to the Oscars, I believe. Emmys, Oscars, Grammys, I don't know the difference, but basically it's the same. And I'm going to take my, I'm tired of hearing myself in that way. Um, okay, so what is the second annual part of this extravaganza is our centerpiece contest. What? <laughs> what is that you say? I will tell you. How many of you participated in the centerpiece contest last year? Okay, well, the winner is uh, letting us know. Okay, this year, 
This year, we want to blow Joel McCartney out of the water. And so I'm challenging you. It can be an individual centerpiece that you do. It can be a group. You can gather as many creative minds as you want to and go in together. I say the more the merrier, as long as you work well together. Communication, that's the key. Um, I would like you to bring your centerpiece at 530 I won't be here probably, but 5.30 so the judges can have time to go around and judge. And who wants to know what the centerpiece theme needs to be? That probably would be really helpful, wouldn't it? Yes, I will tell you. Can I have a drum roll, please? A little bit louder, a little bit louder. All right. This year's theme for the centerpiece, no, keep going. This year's theme for the Centerpiece Competition is Open Hearted Thanks. Now I need cheers. Thank you. Y'all are a great audience. I appreciate this. <laughs> You're helping me. Um, okay, so if you would like to participate in this year's Centerpiece Competition, I can already see your creative juices flowing and your wheels turning. You want to be a part of this. Plus, you want to win the prize. I don't know what the prize is. Is there a prize? There's a prize. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be incredible. Um, you can text at Abby Thank to 81010. Do I, have a, do I have a slide? Yeah. Take a snapshot of it. Get your phones. Take a picture. Thank you, Julia. Or just do it. Um, and then if you can, just as a reminder, if you would like to participate, bring your... Um, Bring your centerpiece at 5.30 so that the judges have time to review them. The actual event starts at 6.30. 6.30. So um, that brings me to my next point. We have sign-ups. Um, just one per section. Um, we have sign-ups for food because how many of you know we won't have a dinner if you don't bring it? Ah, isn't that great how that works out? So um, what I'd like to do is last time we had about 10 turkeys, I think, and 10 hams. I want to increase that. I'm looking at mom, but she's not looking at me. 10? Do we have 10? I can't remember. Pregnancy brain. Let's hashtag pregnancy brain. It's fine. Um, I don't know. Oh, she's in the nursery. She's serving. By the way, if you have an opportunity and you want to serve, get plugged into one of our service groups. It's great. I think we had 10. Okay. So I want everyone to close their eyes. Close your eyes. I still see eyes. Close them. <laughs> close them. I feel like the Lord is prompting you <laughs> to either bring a turkey, to purchase a turkey, to bring a ham or to purchase a ham. A couple more, couple more seconds just to confirm that, just to confirm lo the Lord's voice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, open your eyes. If the Lord confirmed that in you and you feel led by the Lord, not by me, by the Lord, to purchase a turkey, bring a turkey that's cooked and cut, or purchase a ham, bring a ham that's cooked and cut, please raise your hand. For turkeys? All right. Don Farrier. Can you, can you get this? Can you get this? All right. We have Don Farrier. We have Rod Cunningham. I have something for you guys. Don't leave. We have Holly and Naomi. We have Linda. How many is that? Don, two, three, four, five. We need five more, guys. Okay. Don't make me close your eyes again. <laughs> five more turkeys. Five more turkeys. Who else? Oh, Lavelle's, uh, Rollins, Kim Rollins, Jack Warren. Oh, I'm sorry, Kay Rollins, sorry. Oh, and Arden. Yes, Holly wants to switch hers to ham. Okay, so one more time, raise it up, raise it up for turkeys. If you've already raised your hand, raise it again. Raise it again, raise it again. Kim, uh, Kay, I want to see your hand again. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Guys, ah, Alan Burris and Toby Pilate, nine, ten. Woo! Did you get all that, Dom? <laughs> okay, 
If you raised your hand for turkey, thank you so much. Make sure that you write it down on the sheet that's coming around to you just as a verification. Okay, now, hams. Woo! Okay, Alyssa Brownback, Holly, um, oh my gosh, Diane. I wanted to call you Darlene. That's not right. We have Keltners. We have War oh, Warren. Do y'all know that y'all are signing up? Okay, and then we have Terry, one, and then we have uh, Tina Mayo, one, two, I'm, and I'm liking that I know these people's names. I, <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit right now. Um, Carol, uh, sorry, yeah, Carol uh, Montgomery is bringing a ham, and I can't see in the back. Is that Sue? Is that Susie? Susie. Ah, Susie Ham is bringing a ham. Stop that right now. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and Darlene. Okay. Oh, and Chris, uh, Steve Jurgen. All right. One more time. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Y'all. Oh, ten. Did I count Alyssa? Four. Up again. Up again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. We have 10. Did you get Terry? Did you get Terry, Susie, Kay, Carol, Keltners? Yeah! Give yourselves a round of applause. That's so exciting. Okay, if you're bringing, <laughs> if you're bringing those um, proteins, can you have them cooked, obviously, and cut, ready to serve whenever you bring them at 5.30, praise the Lord. And then um, sign up for side dishes. We'd like you to provide a side dish that can feed about 15 people, 15 to 20. Um, look at this room. We have a lot more people here than um, years past. And I think people come out of the woodworks when you supply food. So I'm anticipating more people because that's what we want. We want more people to give thanks. So we're expecting a lot. So please um, keep that in mind when you're signing up for side dishes. Uh, bring it here by 530. It starts at 630. There's a photo booth. All the things. Youth is tonight and next week. No, two weeks. Next week. Um, I'm done. That's all. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you very much. I think we need to give Tabitha a great big hand. I'm impressed. I, I quit doing that because I don't remember everybody's name. And so I'm very impressed that she does. And she is scheduled to have her baby sometime during that time. So she will probably not be here for the Thanksgiving dinner itself, but she has gotten her team together and prepared. And so I just think her leadership is amazing and she's done a great job leading her team. Let's just give her one more big hand, would you? Thank you, Tab. And blessings on you in the days of head. Raise up intercessors for her. Amen. We're going to dismiss our children to Children's Church at this time. Bless them. Put your hands on them in a positive way. And bless them as they go. We're going to dismiss them. Thank you to all of our kids workers. Awesome. We love our kids. Praise the Lord. So while they're being dismissed, I want to make a couple more statements, announcements, and share some information with you. First of all, while we're giving out kudos and shout-outs, we need to give a big shout-out to our parking lot team today. Very impromptu, all the guys that, and that, that worked, as well as some guys that I think are still out there just helping any latecomers get situated. We, we knew that in the process of redoing our land and all the earth that was moving in, that there may come a Sunday or two that we would be in a 
unfinished condition, and so that happened to be this Sunday. We didn't know that for sure till yesterday, so they uh, sprung into action and came up with a plan so that nobody got stuck in our topsoil, which is very sandy in our new parking lot. They will be spreading out our gravel, our millings, this tomorrow, so we should have our parking lot in place. Just along with that, for your information, this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there will be a special event that will be hosted here at the Abbey that is a ministry by Mimi Salinas. And Persine, Persine, why don't you just stand up so everybody knows you. This is Persine Doris. She's a wonderful part of our team. She ministers at the Teen Challenge Ministry ongoing. She's also the event coordinator for the ministry of Mimi Salinas and will be coordinating the event that's happening here. She, she made available our facilities for their annual conference. They host an annual conference, and they have about 300 people that have registered and are coming out to that. It's by registration only. So they will be here all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday during the day. So if you drive by and you see the parking lot full and wonder what's going on at the Abbey, then now you know. You're in the know. So there's people that ministers coming from as far away as New Zealand to Dallas. And so they're coming from all over and they do this annually. And so just be aware that it will be filled. If you are interested in attending the conference, I don't know if they're completely full or not. You can see Persine Doris and she'll guide you to how to register and the registration fees, etc. So she'll be available at the end of the service. But we want to make you aware of that. All right. Then I also want to give you a bit of information Two weeks ago, we had our missionaries from Africa, Jamie and Leah Peters, with us. And yeah, it was a phenomenal time together. We've been in partnership with them for 30 years. And so we took up a special offering for them to bless them. And we kind of threw the gauntlet down, if you will. We put down a challenge that whatever came in in that offering that Sunday morning, we would match out of our missions funds. And so we had $2,500 come in, and we matched that, and we were able to write them a check for $5,000 as they go back to Africa. Awesome. That is a huge blessing to them, and they are they're just planting churches. They're getting ready to start a new church in Kinshasa, Congo, and coming up in 2018. So they have churches that they've planted that are now planting churches. So they're in a multiplication mode, and it's wonderful to be in partnership with their ministry. want to make you aware of something else since this is the first Sunday of the month, and this is what we call Mission Sunday. So we're just giving you some great reports of how you're impacting the world as through your giving. Through your ongoing regular giving, we take 10% of, from all undesignated tithes and offerings, and we set it aside as a tithe for, from our church. And that's how we do missions. We take up special offerings as well, but the first 10% we tithe. So we don't ask anybody else to do what we're not willing to do. We as a church tithe to the mission field. So out of those tithe funds, we were able to give a check for $1,500 to Leck and Cynthia Heflin for the purchase of their land. They have a land payment due this month. They're wanting to pay it off. They're, all that they owe is $7,000 on what they call their model farm. It's a teaching farm. We've, gone, we've sent teams down. We've gone down and helped to develop that farm, plant the farm, build the house uh, on the property for the caretakers of the farm. And they use that farm as a teaching tool to train others in churches how to do micro-enterprise in agriculture. And so they are in the process of paying off all the debt on that land, and so we were able to put $1,500 towards that $7,000 that they owe, and they're believing to pay all $7,000 off by the end of this month. Would you just get in agreement with them and us about that? Amen? Awesome. So... 
tremendous opportunity, one more opportunity that we are want to open the door for you to participate in, and that is our very own Sam Brownback is going to Nairobi, Kenya in December with a part of the O2 Network missions team to go, and they're going to do, Pastor Cody White and Sam and those others on the team are doing a national youth conference the second week of December, and so would you be in prayer with with Sam and the O2 team as we send them to do a national youth conference? Yeah. And if you would like to give towards Sam's trip to Africa, then you can designate that inside the app or designate it on an envelope, and you can put Sam B or you can put Africa trip. That way we know it goes specifically towards the trip, and we'll direct all those funds accordingly. Amen? Awesome. Isn't God good? You know, when you, when you follow the heart of God, that God so loved the world that He gave. He gave His only begotten Son. He held nothing back. When we follow the heart of God to love the world, then He promises blessing back into our lap. We can never outgive God. So, we've got two great testimonies today. We just want to give a shout out that we heard Jesse Spradlin's testimony about getting her job when she moved here, right, in September. And I heard through the grapevine that is the Abbey Community Groups that she received a $1,000 bonus raise, a $1,000 raise on top of everything already. So praise the Lord. Give the Lord a praise offering for that. Amen. It keeps getting better, and it's awesome to have Jesse and Pauline's parents, Landon and Jean, with us this morning. Hallelujah, all the way from Virginia. And they are here to do their Musicians Fellowship International. They're doing meetings every couple months, and they're here starting a new ministry to musicians, and they're starting right here in the Metroplex. So that's coming up Tuesday, right? So be in prayer with them for that new mission. Amen. And then Tracy Brundrett. Where are you, Tracy? Stand up, Tracy, just where you're at. Tracy's been believing God for a new job, and this week is a supernatural break breakthrough, a supernatural job that came in, and that she's been believing for it. We've been praying with her, and she just sent out a face. Some of you may have seen her Facebook quote, and so she got it. She got the job. Amen? Awesome. Praise the Lord. So we can't outgive God. Let's stand up together. I know you're up, down, up, down. I grew up in the Episcopal Church where we were up, down, kneeled, up, down, down, up, kneeled, up, down. And as a kid, that helped me not fall asleep. And that gave me a great foundation in that church of faithfulness. Amen. So we're just going to pray over you. Once again, you've committed turkeys and hams. Now we're just going to pray blessing over your financial giving. Father, we thank you today for your grace and for your blessing in our life, that we have nothing that you haven't given us first. Everything we are and everything we have, we acknowledge came from you. We are truly blessed because of you. We thank you for it, and with grateful hearts, we honor you. and We bless you in the tithes, in our offerings, in our giving. Lord, it's a privilege and an honor to be in divine partnership together to advance your kingdom. So we bless your name as we give today. And we pray, Lord, that you'll take the seed, you'll multiply it. First and foremost, to advance your kingdom around the world, lives will be changed. The, the deaf will hear, the blind will see, the lame will walk, hearts will be saved, the brokenhearted will be mended because... We partnered with you to change the world, and nations will be blessed. In Jesus' name, everybody said together, amen, amen. There's instructions on giving and baskets at the front.